Now, I want you to let everybody know how you got your start in music. How did you come up in the industry? Started out as I was a local aspiring talent. And um, my relationship with, uh, you know, different individuals that out of Dungeon Family, like Dre, for example, like we go all the way back to the third grade. Wow. And so, like, we've been friends um, quite some time. So, um, I would say Southern Player listed Cadillac Music, their first album, um, served as everyone's demo, you know what I'm saying? And so, of course, my introduction was Get Up, Get Out, you know what I mean? Which was like a song of mine that I kind of, you know, donated to the cause. I mean, because like, you know, Drea said he, he considers all of the Dungeon Family, you know, albums to be Dungeon Family albums and not just the new Dungeon Family album, even The Darkness being the first one. Like, because everyone always makes a creative contribution, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I got started, man, really, like, professionally. Uh, 1994 with Southern Playlist and Cadillac Music. Classic. You know, yeah, and then the rest is history. Yeah. And I mean, you do a lot behind the scenes too. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know if y'all remember like um, a group we used to um, have called Mister. You know, Black Bear Molasses. That's old school. If y'all ain't never heard that, but yeah. like, I wrote something on that album. I wrote something for Society of Soul, which is another Dungeon Family group. Um, as far as production, I don't know if y'all may remember Ghettoology from Still Standing. I produced that, and me and Timo produced. Uh, together um, the dip off a of world party so um, I don't normally do a lot of production for, for us um, organized noise really it, you know what I'm saying kind of takes care of that and I just get the focus that's on on, on lyric but my solo album I got a chance to produce it all so I just um, wow. yeah I just took the reins and <clears throat> control of the destiny of the album man and just you know I really wanted to um, showcase and unveil like my sound you know so like when i sit down and produce music man i i just have this notion to incorporate live instrumentation i just like you know funk music and it just comes out you know what i mean and you you were talking about local up-and-coming artists a second ago give them a, some advice to help them get to the next step because a lot of them out there you know they feel like they're stuck and they're waiting for you know that one bit of advice or that big break what um, could you tell them well, what I would say is um, the more you come to the table with, the less you have to ask for it, and the less leverage you give someone else to create something for you to be. Have knowledge of self. That's power. Yeah. Yeah, know your, know your own self-worth. Okay. That's, and, that's very true, too. Yeah, and yeah. delegate your business as such with your worth in mind. Do you think it's important for these up-and-coming artists to go ahead and learn both sides of the industry as far as producing also? Um... You have to be versed in the arts, I say. Like, I mean, like, you know, some, some, something can be inherited and something can be acquired book knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, some people it comes natural for, some people can acquire the skill or the trade. So it just depends on where you're at, you know what I'm saying? I believe that you do need to um, master one, you know what I'm saying? Something has to be what you profess, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and I, I am an, an I actually am a vocalist before I'm an MC or a producer, you know what I'm saying? But um, I am all of them nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? So I just say, you know, don't, don't try to, you know, wear too many hats at first, you know what I'm saying? Like solidify yourself in one position, and, you know what I'm saying, first, and let that springboard each opportunity after the fact, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, if you have the, you know, the desire to do so. All right. And who are some of your inspiration? Man. The Winings, the Clark Sisters, Billy Joel, Elton John, Bobby Womack, Al Green, Sam Cooke, Marvin Gaye, Aretha Franklin, Confunction, Cameo, the Barcades, um, Parliament Funkadelic, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Uh, Outcast, Organized Noise, That's you know what I'm saying? Wide Big range. Daddy Kane, Rock Him, De La Soul, Tribe Called Quest, X Clan, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Slick Rick. All of them are influenced. The, each and every shape and form that music can possibly manifest itself in, I am influenced by. I'm in love with music. And yeah, can we find a little bit of each of that inside of your music? Of course. Yeah. I mean, I can't help myself, man. It's just, it's honest, you know what I'm saying? It's just an honest expression. 